Uh, we're doing a lot of Tulsi Gabbard today, but truth be told, very few of you know her. I tried to learn a little bit more about her, starting with her ability to surf. What, what the biggest wave have you ever surfed? Uh, probably uh, double overhead. So as high as I am, plus times two. And you made it? I, I made it. Probably, I've, I've eaten it on many of those too, but uh, I have made some of them, yes. So may I ask you about the hair streak? Is yeah. it like a, is it a birthmark? I it's always not think of poltergeist when I, when I see <laughs> oh, it. Oh, jeez. So you're a certain age, like, <laughs> I don't know if you remember that scene from that movie, but no, I mean, can you tell us what, what it's from? See, my generation would say it's more of like Rogue from X-Men uh, okay. than poltergeist. Not trying to- I'm aging myself. Yeah, you are actually. <laughs> Um, no, it's, uh, I, I started to, to gray in, in that spot actually uh, during and after my first deployment to Iraq and uh, it's just something that I've chosen to keep uh, as a reminder of uh, every day of, of the cost of war and, and the importance of peace and, and who pays the price for war. We learned a while on site in Nashua that in the audience today was a man who served with her in Iraq. His name is Christopher Tortelot. And as we leave you tonight, here's a little bit of the exchange between the two veterans. We hope you have a great night, everybody. I'm Brian Shackman, and this is Primary Source. He was the first sergeant of a unit um, during our second deployment uh, where someone uh, was, did not come home. One of his soldiers did not come home. Wear it every day. Swisslin Walters. And um, so someone caught a, an image of us just uh, on that day at that moment yeah. sharing a hug. And I wanted to share that with people because uh, this is the human cost of war that we should never, ever forget. Thank you so much. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Very Appreciate much. it. Tulsi, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.